ধন্যবাদ এখন আমি রেজিস্ট্রার স্যারকে ডেকে নিচ্ছি সেমিনারটা ওপেন করার জন্য স্যার প্লিজ আসসালামু আলাইকুম এন্ড গুড মর্নিং কেমন আছেন আপনারা so as you know today's program is a seminar title you can see here is the fundamental of research methodology which is very important for you bishesh kore jara research e kaaj korbe tader jonno so today's guest is lieutenant colonel mohammad nuzrul islam he is a military officer so we can say him as a military scientist right he has been graduated from uh, iut gajipur on the same subject and he has done his phd from finland he is very talented officer in the in the army so that is why he has been posted in academic side so he will for how many years you sir about 20 years he said for 20 years he is in with the academy so he will be future life in army maybe with the academicians however i don't want to take time so may i call up colonel nazrul to to start his uh, seminar today please respected minister sir and other faculty members present and my dear student assalamu alaikum and very good morning how are you oh. so actually uh, you know i am here because of my student so i love my students a lot and also i bring my son here to see that how the students are eager to hear my lectures though he is not hearing my voice at home <laughs> so actually uh, if you prefer i can switch bangla and english together and the way i delivery it is sometimes interactive sometimes one way delivery but of course there is an option to discuss with all of you at the end of presentation i will try to explain how is the research and everything the basic needed for you to study your undergraduate thesis or maybe for the post graduation thesis even some faculties for those who are the young they can also start up their research in a very systematic way based on some of my knowledge that i will share today over i can formally start uh, mic is okay it's okay okay so uh, already sir mentioned that today's title is fundamentals of research methods a pathway of research design for undergrad students and i am lieutenant colonel nazrul serving as a uh, faculty member at department of computer science and engineering at military institute of science and technology so this is just the outline obviously it's a very formal lecture so i just put some of the things here but apart from that i am free from discuss anything at the end of conclusion even so while i have been informed from lecture reja that i have to give a lecture on fundamentals of research or something like that then i thought that uh, because as a military i did get very less opportunity to go outside to deliver the lectures because we have some rules and regulations so then i asked the google to learn about the research that how i can share these things to the students outside my territory and google responses that around 15 billion 800 million results as answer for this research within 0.85 seconds then i am confused how i will learn how this research while there are too many documents then i go for to check myself by giving a search how to earn money 
then Google responses 3 billion 750 million results. So people search more on research than the money. And it is not just more. I am going back to the slide if you cannot remember the number. It is 3 billion, it is 15 billion. So, and then he also takes 0.53 seconds time here. And at that moment, I become confused that how I will teach my students how is research. And how definition will be suit for you. And after that, I decided I will just tell a story with you. Try, try to understand whether you understand research, which is research and which is not research. Let me share the story, sir, please. So, I live in Mirpur, uh, in, you know, it's a Mirpur 12, Mirpur cantonment. My parents live in Gajipur. So sometimes my sisters are visiting my home even after the lunch or at any time. It takes one and two hours. So once day, while I was in office, suddenly my sister calls that they are coming here and they will stay one or two hours at our home and then go back to the Gajipur. So in that moment, uh, my wife becomes in a problem, just thinking that what should I serve them because uh, some relatives are coming and they're very close relative from the Gajipur and they will not take very, you know, either lunch or dinner, but they will stay a couple of hours. What should be served for them? Then she started to check the phrase and here and there, and he saw that there is not that much in that things. And then he thinks that what kind of food my sisters are love to eat during the evening time. Then he found that, okay, they love chicken tandoori, something like that. And she decided that, okay, she will cook it. And then he again looks for some ingredients, whether she can cook the tandoori at home. And when she's looking for that, he, she found that there is not enough fresh chicken and other ingredients is missing. Then she again thought about the time that, okay, it's not that much time now. And now what I can do? Because it needs time to, to cook the tandoori. Then she decided okay, she, she will go outside and bring or buy some food from outside. And she was looking for some suitable shop. And then she found that, okay, CSD, it's a very close to our apartment. And there is a CSD. They sell the fresh chicken and other ingredients. Then he decided that if she buy this kind of things, then she can be tired or time will not be sufficient for cooking the tandoori. Then she thought that, okay, from where I can buy the ready-made meal. Then he found that there is an AD Mart. If you visit that area, there is an AD Mart and they sell the chicken tandoori, naan, this kind of food. And she decided, okay, she will go there, she will buy, bring and serve. So the story is ended here. From this story, do you think, is there any research here? Is my wife did any research here? Story clear to you? Yes. Story was yes. answered. A story madhumi ki bola jaye, our wife kono research kora sir. Yes sir. Acha. Ah, yes sir. Pakhe kala ek tu didi shuni. Okay, very good. Baki na ki noy pakhe na ki dui pakhe ya sir. Acha, is, is there anyone voluntary to say few lines that why you consider this story as a research story or research is done by my wife? Anyone is, is please. So, 
তো এই যে একটা আউটকাম মানে একটা আউটকাম সে নিয়ে আসলো যে তাকে তাকে কিছুই নেই বাসা নতুন করে কিন্তু চিন্তা করে সে গেস্টের জন্য প্রিপেয়ার করলো এটাই আমার কাছে মনে হয় একটা রিসার্চ ডেফিনেটলি কারণ আমরা যখন আমাদের প্র্যাকটিক্যাল লাইফ করে কাজ করি অলওয়েজ একে চিন্তা করি যে সেটা কোন কথা যাচ্ছে কিবা কিছু হচ্ছে যে কিভাবে কোনটা ফুলফুল হয় তো অফ কোর্স থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ কিনা আপনার রাখি বল All right, okay. very decent, very good try, and I appreciate for this kind of responses. And actually, I'm just structuring the answer that Rakib says. I'm just structuring the story. For example, if I just consider this left side, identify a problem. I mean, how to cook for lunch? It is the problem for my. It's, it could be lunch or evening uh, snack, something like that. Gather data. Then he, she looks. What is in the fridge? Then analyze the data. Is it enough for everybody in the house? Everybody's favorite food. Then interpret the data. Need more ingredients. In another phase, he gather more data. Something like, where can I get the ingredient? Simple to cook. Enough time. After that, she analyze the data again. The cheapest shop, fresh ingredients, buy ready-made meals. and then she interpret the data again such way that cst shops sell fresh chicken everyone in the house loves chicken tandoori but preparing tandoori will take a lot of time tiring too many ingredients draw conclusion go to the ad mart and buy ready made tandoori so if i structure the whole story in this way now how many of you are agree that it is a resource can you raise the hand चोखे देखना we do this kind of research in every moment sometimes so some of are here this for example how to wire to come here you know i made a pore asbo i have to think sometimes jeta porbo ese thakbe to na kore felte hobe tai na then punctured tire at any moment at any places tire could be punctured and you will be in problem you do some things to overcome that problem broken washing machine cooking for lunch many of the housewife they face the problem what to cook Tickets. Then finding new home and as well as family problems. So we do research in our everyday life. So nothing new here that I should share with you. But thing is that why we are here, why university is bringing the facilities for the research because this is research, but this is not an academic research. Why? Because here. the data that we are collected is a very poor data we are not collecting data for the whole country to find out the cheapest shop for example incomplete data it's a hasty thinking khub shortcut thinking korchi je she loves chicken tandoori it's a hasty thinking we never checked in different way that hot she actually love to eat data collection is a very non systematic way so if we consider these things then the good academic research is not support this kind of things for a good academic research we always need sufficient data sources appropriate data sources accurately recorded poorly analyzed sorry properly analyzed no hidden assumption conclusion should be well founded and properly presented as judged by the users of the research there is a user for the research there is a user for this microphone similarly a researcher user thake consumer thake tara je bhabe judge korte chan tader moto kore so creation of new knowledge using appropriate process to the satisfaction of the user of the research is our concern to she khetre our systematic consideration gulo ko amader mathay rakhte hoy so though we do the research but not all research at the academic research so grounding on the this if i just come to the a formal definition i can say this way research is a human activity based on intellectual investigation 
that is aiming to discovering, interpreting and revising human knowledge on different aspects of the world. You can say in other way that the process of exploring the unknown, staying and learning new things, building new knowledge about things that no one has understood before. I mean, you have to create, to some extent, new knowledge throughout a research. If the knowledge is already exist in the society, you cannot say that you are doing some research. So to some extent, it should be created some knowledge about any things of the society that no one has understood before. They are aiming to discovering, interpreting and revising human knowledge on different aspects of the world. So somehow it is the human process and intellectual investigation that really unrevealed, unrevealed or uncovered something new that is really not, not, not known to the end users till date. The motto that I believe to explain my students as well, I use three color code here. I mentioned here that what we have got now or from the past is not quite right or good enough we can do better. Here three things mentioned that a research is, is can be done individually, no problem. But you cannot conduct a research isolatedly. Means that somehow you have to ground it on the present state of the art knowledge. For example, we are going to work to develop a machine learning algorithm to predict diabetic. You can do it individually, no problem. We can carry out this research individually, but you cannot do it isolatedly because you need all the things that have been already done on this field. You have to think that where the machine learning algorithms are already standard to predict the diabetic or to detect the diabetic disease patient. So that means what we have got now from the past is not quite right or good enough. That is the research gap. And on that, we will go for the better one. So this is a very simple story. So, and you have to have on the knowledge. research excellent novel It could be extended, modified, enhanced, merged. There might be many options to modify the knowledge, something new knowledge, and altogether it will make very good knowledge. So, I'm sorry, this is the first topic is ended. I cannot serve you the chicken tandoori, but this is the chicken tandoori. Okay. So, actually, I will give you the five messages to you. So, first message was that what is research that I try to give you. I hope you understand what is research. Okay. My <coughs> next thing is that criteria for a good research topic. Actually, at the very beginning, we fight for a very good research topic. And it is very fundamental for us. A undergrad students, the way he showed his or her seriousness at the beginning of studying the thesis, he or she almost forget his thesis title or topic at the end of the thesis. <laughs> Sometimes at MIST, people cried because of not being member, member of a group research team. However, criteria So finer criteria stand for feasibility, interesting, novel, ethical and relevant. Here there are two 